catch you with Jackie Nelson. Check it out. Now, okay, Drizzy Drake's DJ got robbed. Okay, got finesse. If you don't know, man, basically they're on a Summer 16 tour, rolled through Phoenix, and it looks like they might have got a little bit too comfortable because while performing on stage, somebody ran up in a bus and grabbed a briefcase containing approximately $3 million worth of jewelry. Now, that number, $3 million, is probably overblown. The reason why is this, okay? If you have that much jewelry or jewelry worth that much, I'll say even over half a million or a million or two, I would expect you to actually have that jewelry insured. So you throw out a big figure like, yeah, I had $3 million worth of jewelry in a briefcase I got stolen. In case you got to make that claim, you could get compensated for all of that. Now, this is what supposedly happened, right? When you go to the Summer 16 Tour or the St. Pablo Tour where these guys are doing arenas. They're not just pulling up to the club, parking in front of a fire hydrant, and running inside to perform. They actually pull up with their tour buses inside the goddamn arena the same way if if the Lakers were pulling up to the, the Cavs, right, in Cleveland. They would go right into the arena as well. Right? So there's an entrance where the buses will go in. It's enclosed. Okay? So basically, I say that to say, there's not somebody who's randomly walking by just ran up on the bus. This is something where only people who were allowed to be there could have been the people to have gone on the bus and taken it. And by the way, if you're wondering where Drake and like Future the Prince were at during this time, they were on stage. Okay? So Future of the Prince is Drake's DJ and manager. Okay? It's his jewelry. Right? He's on stage with Drake, okay? Summer 16 performing all that shit. And basically somebody in an enclosed area goes up in the bus. I'm guessing the bus was open or they had access. And they grab his briefcase and that's how they hit the lick, okay? Now... Here's the thing. I mean, in those situations, right, where artist security is a big deal, usually the people that have access to that backstage area, you usually know who it is. I mean, it could be a thing, though, where perhaps uh, people with, like, VIP badges, right, maybe certain VIP or backstage badges, they could get to that area. Um, Also security personnel, also staff that just works at the arena. Regardless, you should be able to narrow it down. Also, you should even have cameras. So it shouldn't be that hard to figure out who did it. By the way, they have narrowed it down between 15 minutes. So they should find this person, and this is not something they could just kind of get rid of for the pawn shop. So it's going to take a little while, and from what I'm hearing, Jay Prince is making moves already to get that jewelry back to Drake's DJ Future the Prince. But regardless, they were caught lacking, and um, they'll probably move differently from now on and possibly won't have the entire crew near the stage area. They'll have somebody watching the bus as well. Okay, again, Kyle Marks, what you guys like? I'm telling you, this will be found probably within the next day or two. Trust me. I mean, $3 million in jewelry, you're not going to just, like, steal that from, like, a place that's supposedly somewhat secure, and then you're, like, all over the place with it. So we'll see what it is. Again, Kyle Marks, what you guys like? Definitely subscribe to Woodjack Academics. I'm up.